all right youtube it is um the video i was going to make last night or the night before and ran out of time I'll just get you all in good spot here how about there uh i was going to do a video and i told y'all i was going to do this video here about a video or two ago about why i got on youtube and i originally got on youtube because i originally started following pipe and cigar smokers um until recently um probably six months to a year ago maybe six months ago um i would have a pipe or a cigar in fact i haven't had a cigar in about a year maybe a little bit longer um, i converted over to smoking pipes but then something happened and i just i mean i only spoke to one about once a month once every week it wasn't very often and then i just didn't pick one up and um so i haven't done that in a while i'm no longer part of that community even though uh let me try something else here how about that even though i still follow those guys some of those guys on youtube um i don't it's not me re religiously following them like i used to uh, i still have some good friends on there like uh, jay uh DGI SX, I think is <laughs> I can't ever get those um, letters right. J. In fact, if you know it's J, he just uh, shaved his beard. Sad, sad, sad. Well, anyway, so I originally started doing videos on pipe smoking in the pipe community, and then um, basically video responses to other guys. Um, chats I mean it was just a chat session is what it was and my responses to them and maybe bringing up some other topics and this and that and that and this and different things and um, in fact uh, I was going to get out of the YouTube community altogether and quit doing videos and so I took all those pipe videos down um, they're not up anymore in fact i don't even have a copy of those videos which is okay i guess um then i saw video i was looking through some videos i wanted to do some uh cast iron cooking and the proper way to cook in cast iron and i ran across this fellow and i think some of us are subscribed to him i think everybody ought to be subscribed to him um he used to end his videos by saying from the east coast of arkansas that right there is a dead giveaway to a bunch of you guys out there that uh <laughs> but uh he is now somewhere in uh, tennessee i believe it's tennessee yeah it's tennessee i think or kentucky anyway uh is uh shop dog sam and he has some pretty good videos on cooking in cast iron and they were uh different uh cornbread mixes they how to make different types of cornbread and so i subscribed to him and i'm watching his videos and he came on one day with a nine minute video in a few seconds nine minute and some, some odd seconds on how to make peanut butter and cracker sandwiches now y'all this is take a piece of cracker like a rich cracker put a dab of peanut butter on top of it and put a rich cracker on top of it a nine minute video and i'm not knocking shop dog sam i think it's great I love the video. I have watched it numerous times. It is hilarious. 
Um, I have shown friends of mine that video. I think it's awesome. But I got to thinking, you know, if this guy can do a cooking video, nine minutes, on how to make peanut butter and cracker sandwiches, I've got stuff to say too. I mean, I've got things I can share on some of the recipes that I make. And so that is how that kind of got started. And then I, I just got to the point of, it wasn't really burnout, it was just, it wasn't time. It wasn't really time to make a make a video or b um time to sit there and uh you know do the, all the editing and all that other happy stuff that goes along with so uh i've been watching videos i've been replying to videos and one that i watch and i've mentioned this guy I've Quite a few times in, in my videos, uh, Juanello, uh, just an inspiration for the uh, low carb lifestyle, always positive on everybody's video, and his comments are always positive. Um, I think it's just awesome. Um, but uh, I got to thank you, you know, Juanello does recipes. Um, low carb there are other low carb chefs out there that I've just started subscribing to everybody's got some excellent videos um, but you know I can do those videos as well and put my own spin on them because I think that recipes unless you're baking okay let me back this up if you're baking like a cake then that needs a recipe. You need to follow that recipe. Baking is a science. Just like chemistry class in high school or college. Baking is a science. You need so much this to this to this. However, regular cooking, grilling, smoking, um, casseroles, chilies, whatever, soups, do not require a recipe look at a recipe get the general idea and make it your own you know what you like you know what your family likes and if you get a recipe that you know calls for you know four green bell peppers and nobody in your family likes green bell peppers don't put it in put something else in if you want to um, you know just things like that you know if you can't have uh, if you're allergic to a certain something uh, don't put it in make the recipe your own you know the flavors that you like you know if something is super mild and your family likes it kicked up notches unknown with flavor and heat kick it up there's no use in serving a bland dish. On the other hand, if this recipe is, I mean, to the moon heat-wise, and you, your family is a very mild, maybe a, like chicken wings, for example, if your family is a garlic parmesan style family or a just a lemon pepper or whatever cook it that way you don't have to follow the recipe and put four gallons of Dave's and Sandy sauce in there when nobody's gonna eat it nobody will like it I would but I mean but if I mean make make your recipes your own and so that was why I started doing videos because I thought I uh, could have something to share um, that way. Um, uh, I'm gonna try my best to do at least one video a week. 
Um, there are going to be times where I can't do that, but I'm going to try to get one video a week. I'm going to try to uh, get my comments uh, back up, get my views back up. Um, and let me back up a little bit further also on this. Whenever I first started out, I saw some guys do videos and they were talking about the money that you can make doing YouTube videos. That is there is money to be made. Okay. I'll just put it that way. There is some money to be made. And at one time I used to put the ads and stuff on my videos. I think that with YouTube, with their advertisements and different things, I had made a whopping 17 cents. I think that's still stored in my account on YouTube, whatever. You're not going to get rich making YouTube videos. It's not going to happen. Um, you're not going to be able to quit your job. You're not going to be able to do anything like that off of YouTube videos. You might be able to, after a certain period of time you might be able to go down to the local hamburger store and get a dollar hamburger but that's after a lot of videos and a lot of subscriptions and a lot of views okay it's some people do it I did it for a little while until I found myself I my uh, browser that I use is Google Chrome and for Chrome users let me scoot you guys over Chrome users know that there are extensions that you can put into Google Chrome one of the extensions that I don't believe is still available was called ScrewTube it would erase the ads off of YouTube so I didn't have to watch commercials. And um, that one, that I don't think it works anymore. There are a couple others out now. I just uh, put one on the other day and it, you know, the one I had quit working for some reason, I don't know why, but I found another one, put it on there and it just wipes the commercials out. Don't, I don't have to watch them. I don't have time, the patience to watch commercials that's why I don't watch TV I've got better things to do in my time to watch somebody else's advertisement okay if you want to put advertisements on on your videos fine go ahead and do it but I'm not gonna watch them I'll just be straight up with you now that brings me to my point of me putting commercials on my videos I got to thinking one night that it is awful hypocritical of me to put ads on my videos when I'm not watching anybody else's. The rest of y'all don't know that I'm not watching your commercials. But I know. So, and I think I wrote, I did a video on that um, and I forgot what I was cooking that day but I had said something about it that I wasn't going to do commercials anymore. My videos are commercial free. My videos will always be commercial free unless YouTube does something stupid. But I am not purposely putting commercials on my videos. Now, um, there's something else I was going to talk about, but I've already forgot what it was I forgot what I had learned whenever I was doing the pop videos and I was doing videos much like this just talking that uh, I would have to have a little cheat sheet with ideas of what I wanted to talk about so I wouldn't forget like I just just did but uh, that is how I got into this whole YouTube thing um, I enjoy it um, I current uh, I used to use uh, Windows Movie Maker and it's just a simple little old movie maker anybody can figure out and um, 
it's a it's a good program. Don't get me wrong, it's an excellent program, but I wanted a step above YouTube or the uh, video maker. So I went out and I started using VideoPad and there's a free version of that or free for a certain period of time and then um, they require you to purchase it. Well the price was semi cheap, it was on sale and so I went ahead and purchased it and so that's what I'm using right now for my editor. Um, I've been told that uh, YouTube's editor online will do some stuff. My biggest concern was is well, I don't know is either that little guy or maybe he is right there right there that little dude right there I wanted a little watermark in my videos the old old versions of movie maker you could do that it took a little time a little effort to figure out the scripting and everything to put that little dude up there or the little watermark but the new version does not do that it doesn't have that capability I wanted that little picture up there as a watermark so somebody couldn't steal my videos and don't get me wrong people will steal your videos I've seen it done all right um, in fact I've seen some guys that I were I was following that were really good friends that came out into an absolute turf war over st stolen videos of each other's that was plastered all over YouTube and all over Facebook and uh, you know these guys are supposed to be pretty good friends and so uh, I don't believe I follow either one of them either on YouTube nor on Facebook um, you know nobody's got time for that anyway with the future of my channel um, I you're not gonna watch any more pipe videos sorry you're not gonna watch any more cigar videos um, it's going to be mainly cooking and it's going to be some jeep stuff um i hope to do some more jeep videos i've done a few videos um jeep wise um but most of my subscribers are either cooks and i still have some uh pipe smokers uh, still subscribe to me um i believe but i don't know if they're those guys are you know nobody none of those guys are commenting on videos right now so I don't know if they're watching my videos or not they may be just skipping by the cooking videos I don't know anyway but uh, um, I, I noticed my video that I put up uh, yesterday or the day before of the uh, what was it that I cooked the other day it was the uh, crack slaw had 30 plus uh, views on it right that's awesome a few comments hey it's better than none thumbs up excellent i forgot how many thumbs up i had um i think i've only had two videos with a thumbs down uh and i in each one of those videos two videos only had one thumbs down and i don't that's another rant for another day. I don't understand thumbing down a video. Um, if I don't like the video, uh, and if I know you personally, and I know that something's not right, I will contact you and say, hey, what's the deal? Okay. I'm not gonna thumbs down a video, and I'm not gonna call you out in front of the public on Facebook or on YouTube. I will get your contact information or if I, if I don't already have it, and I will contact you personally and say, hey, what's up? You know, this isn't you, whatever. But if I don't like a video, I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna go to the next video. I'm not thumbing down a video. Plain and simple. But uh, I have rambled on here for 20 minutes and right now it's 15 seconds and I don't think I've said a, 
anything worthwhile worth saying but it's been said um, like shop dog Sam said you know uh, Rush Limbaugh has stuff to say and people listen to him so shop dog Sam has stuff to say and people listen to him well occasionally I might have something to say so I'm gonna put it on here just in case somebody wants to listen who knows anyway I may not get a cooking video done tonight um, I seriously doubt I'm gonna do a cooking video tonight um, I may get one done this weekend maybe I don't know really what's on tap for this weekend I haven't seen the schedule but anyway I will uh, get off here and let you guys go uh, make sure if you haven't already done so make sure to subscribe thumbs up comment down below uh, go ahead and hit that Google Plus um, and uh, all that kind of good stuff. All right. Bye.